All right, guys. Welcome to the channel, Jake's Wide World of Sports. My name is Jake, and this is my very first sports cast. Jake's sports cast from Jake's Wide World of Sports. I don't know what the title is going to be, but this video needs to be made. This is my new microphone. It is epic. It's allowing me to create a higher level of content. And it's also going to allow me to have a, a podcast style of setup, you know what I mean? So that's what I see this as. I have no idea where this is going to go, but this is episode one, and I want to talk about the Super Bowl. I want to talk about the game that's that's coming up in five short days' time. The Super Bowl 55 in Tampa Bay, between Tampa Bay and Kansas City. I'm going to start by saying I'm no expert. I'm not going to be here for too long, but I do just want to talk about something I want to talk about a couple of players, a couple of my favorite players, and the turnaround that each of them has had in the last couple of years, leading into the Super Bowl. Now, I'm not talking about Kansas City. They won it last year. All power to them. I feel like, honestly, honestly, if you ask me who wins, I'm going to say, with my head, I'll go Kansas City. I'm going to say, with my heart, I go Tampa Bay. And but to be fair, my heart is with Kansas City as well. I mean, I want them to, to be a dynasty. I really do want them to get five in a row. I want Patrick Mahomes to possibly even overtake Tom Brady as the GOAT. Because if, if you don't have a new GOAT every generation, it gets boring. You know what I mean? The game gets stale. But in just saying that, even just even just thinking about the fact that Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady are going against each other in a Super Bowl with almost 20 years of age between them is absolutely incredible. So regardless of anything else, I'm going to really enjoy the game as a fan. Am I an expert? Absolutely not. Are you an expert? Probably not either. But I'm going to just talk about two players in particular that I'm so proud of and I'm so happy to be a fan and to see that they've made a Super Bowl it's just epic. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Leonard Fournette. Now, Leonard Fournette came across my my uh, my screen, my YouTube screen, probably about two and a half years ago. He was the fourth pick in the 2017 NFL Draft. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, another one of my favorite players, came uh, four short picks after that. But what happened from there, I feel like Leonard Fournette came into the league, he had a great first season, but the team as a whole, as in the Jacksonville Jaguars, just weren't performing. I mean, he was on a team with, with, I guess, a below average offensive line, or at least that's how it seemed. Um, a team that was, that's struggling, you know what I mean? When I tell anyone that I backed the Jags, look guys, first thing I want to say is, Leonard Fournette's one of my favorite players, but the team that I back, and I will back from here into the future, forever and a day, is the Jacksonville Jags. And the reason why that is, for anyone wondering, which I will talk about in, a, in another podcast, but um, the reason for that is because they reached out to me very early on after I'd made a reaction video to who was officially my favorite player, Leonard Fournette. So they reached out to me. They decided to follow me on Instagram. This is two and a half years ago. I check every now and then. I'm like, come on, guys. you gotta, you got to still be following me, mate. you got to still be, <laughs> you know, you've if you're not, I may have to jump off the bandwagon, but I'm I'm happy to say that up to this point, they are a supporter of me, they're a supporter of my content, and, you know, I'm a supporter of them. But I'm also a supporter of Leonard Fournette. So he finally got his, got his way out of Jacksonville. I'm not going to say I was happy about it, because I knew that I'd have to follow him, being my favorite player, into the team that he went to. But to hear that he got picked up by Tom Brady, none other than Tom Brady. You know, Tom Brady literally probably picked him. Picked him out of the crowd. He said, I want him. I want Leonard. He might not be my first string running back, but we do need a, a twin-headed monster here. And that's what they've got. So Leonard Fournette went to Tampa Bay. He's played a great year. A great year. I'm not going to look up the stats. I do that in my other videos. Um, this is basically just, just, just me talking. Me getting some thoughts out of my head into yours with some nice quality audio. So Leonard Fournette, great year. Supported him the whole entire way. Gets to the playoffs, begins balling out. Am I surprised? Absolutely not. Has he frustrated me at times over the last couple of years with his play? 
style? Yes. Yes, he has. I thought that he was an Adrian Peterson. He's not quite. But I reckon he can... I reckon he can improve. I reckon he can stick with this team. I hope, I hope, regardless of what happens this, this weekend, whether he becomes a Super Bowl champion or not, I hope he does stick around. I hope that he becomes an integral part of this team, and I hope that the team continues to build, whether Tom Brady be at the helm or, be at the helm or not. <clears throat> so Leonard Fournette, favorite player, gets to the Super Bowl, uh, gets to the playoffs, starts becoming playoff Lenny, and, you know, I couldn't be happier for the guy. So, He's the first one that I wanted to, to talk about. Whether he'll be the starting running back or not, he will play a big big part in this game, I hope. Um, playoff Lenny, I expect to continue rolling. And like I said, whether they win or not, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy for the guy. From going from a team you know, with, with a losing record every single year to a team that's made the Super Bowl in your hometown. I mean, this guy's... You know, the Super Bowl is in Tampa Bay. The support there is going to be absolutely incredible. I'm sure it's been incredible the whole year. And look, Leonard, big Lenny, playoff Lenny, best of luck. I know you can do it. The second player I'm going to talk about. And when you talk to me about my favorite wide receiver, it's a hard one. It's a really hard one. You've got guys like DK Metcalf, who I've followed ever since coming into the league. You've got guys like Keenan Allen, who have sidesteps like I've never seen. You have guys like Tyreek Hill who can just burn anybody and he's got the agility to match. But then you've got guys like Antonio Brown. And Antonio Brown hit me because of his personality, because of his his eyes, actually. I'm not going to lie. Way back in the day, 2018, top 100 series, we had Antonio Brown right at the top. The way that he spoke, the softness in his voice affected me. I loved it. I did. Similar to the way I thought about Chandler Jones. <clears throat> So, look, I'm not going to say that I've followed Antonio Brown as closely as I have Leonard Fournette, but ever since he left the Steelers, ever since he played only one, ever since, he, you know, he's he's been struggling, he's been trying to get back in the league, trying to get back in the league, trying to play the game that had been taken away from him by the NFL for over a year. So I followed him throughout his whole time off, right? He left the Steelers. A lot of shit went down. Tom Brady, once again, not only did he pick up Leonard Fournette, but he also picked up Antonio Brown. And I really, really respect that relationship that they've got because obviously Tom Brady sees through all the bullshit and he knows what a player and what a what a what a what a person Antonio Brown is. I back him. I like him. I like him. I don't know about his personal history, all right? You guys can probably tell me in the comment section below. But as far as his play, as far as his hustle and his fucking grind to get back on that football field at all costs, much respect. And that's exactly what he did. So he played one game for the Patriots, scored a touchdown. You know, <clears throat> before that, he went to the Raiders. As you guys know, it didn't work. And then spent, I don't know how long, out of the game. Came back this year after serving an eight-game suspension. Came on for the Bucks and started balling out. And you know what? I wasn't surprised. This guy came into the Bucks as the fittest man in that football team. And I'm not surprised because I followed his training routine. I followed his grind. As I keep saying, I hate you. I hate using that word, but there's really only one word that would describe his, his journey back into the league. And that is a fucking grind. So well done. So Leonard Fournette in a Super Bowl. Antonio Brown in a Super Bowl. Both players, I feel, have a, a, a very interesting um, relationship with Tom Brady, and I'm so glad for that. Tom Brady is going to be one of the main reasons why this team wins, if they do win. And his decision-making and his leadership in times of need, if this team needs it, is going to be huge. So... I'm not sure exactly how this, how long this video has gone. Um, I just hope the audio works. And I will be uploading it on Jake's Wide World of Sports. This is my first ever podcast. I'm going to call it a sportscast. And it's covering my thoughts about Tampa Bay leading into the Super Bowl. Will Tampa Bay win? I don't know. Both teams have a shitload of talent on offense. And that excites me. You know what I mean? That really does excite me. I love... The offensive side of the ball but what that means is that the defense on both sides is really going to have to step up 
for either team to have a chance. I feel like it's going to be a high-scoring offensive style of game. I really do, or at least I hope I do. Um, but then again, we've got Tom Brady playing, and if he decides that running the clock, kicking field goals is the way to go, it'll happen. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Please let me know down in the comment section below which team you're backing, why you're backing them, who your favorite players are that you want to watch, etc., etc. And I will see you there. I will see you there. Head over to my other channel, Jacob McDonald. I will be uh, live streaming my reaction to the game. And like I said, I hope to see you there. So thank you for listening. And peace out.